Hey guys, my name is Arturo Sanchez and I am here at La Carniceria La Superior uh, meat market and grocery store. We're going to go inside and talk to Jackie Flores. Uh, she is the general manager and she's going to give us the scoop on everything there is to know about this particular Durham gem. Why don't you just start off by telling me a little bit about yourself, like where you were born, how you grew up, all that kind of stuff. Um, originally from California. Okay. Uh, both of my parents are from Mexico City. Mm -hmm. um, lived here in Durham for 15 years. 15 years. So I, yeah, I don't share anything with California anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, that's. Well, what, what brought you guys to, Calif to um, Durham? California is a lot of faster paced lifestyle wise mm -hmm. um, so I was an only child then so my parents wanted to have a uh, settle down in a place that was more quiet more stable mm -hmm. um, possibly work in something that wasn't so commercialized there mm -hmm. um, so that's pretty much the reason why they wanted to move over here and what, why we moved here. Okay, and so is that essentially where the concept of, did you guys have a grocery store back No, we in didn't. California? My dad was a butcher by trade. He oh, okay. learned a lot in California. Um, they came here, worked for Tienda Mi Pueblo, mm -hmm. um, but we got here and there was literally two Mexican grocery stores. Um, none of them offered a meat department. It was just kind of like canned foods, mm -hmm. um, money wiring, and just kind of your basic needs. Um, and so my family saw the need for a Mexican butcher store. Something that offered, well not, not just Mexican, just a Hispanic cuts, mm -hmm. meat cuts. And so my mom said, let's try it. Let's, let's go for it, let's try it. And then at that point in time, um, no one wanted to give them a chance. No one wanted to give them a fundraiser or any sort of money um, startups. And they went to four or five different banks. And it was BB, uh, no, I'm doing uh, MNF mm -hmm. that gave them that, that first opportunity. And that's what they started with. Wow. So, so it was just. It was luck. luck. Yeah. It was luck. <laughs> it was luck. And someone took you know, compassion and said, you know what, let's give them a try. Because this is, the, we were, there was literally only two Hispanic grocery stores in all of Durham. Um, none of them had the meat department. Wow. So we were the first ones to have the meat department. And so it seems like you've translated that into sort of, you were sourced from this one charitable act. Yes. And now you're turning into this sort of bastion of charity and bastion. We're still working with them. Yeah. With MNF. I mean, um, there's that loyalty to them and they, they were the ones that gave us that first shot, so mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're still. That's awesome. I've always actually thought it really interesting that when you drive by, you actually see Carniceria La Superior, yes. as opposed to most places, it just says supermarket or tortilla yeah. place. And we so wanted you, a name. We yeah. wanted it. My my family always believed, and I and they've instilled that in me that you don't grow as a business based on how much money you put into marketing or how many radio stations you're on or how many commercials on TV you're on. It's based on the quality and service that you provide. Mm -hmm. That's why you've never, um, we don't have billboards, we don't have um, commercials on TV, we don't have mm -hmm. those things, but we've been open for almost 15 years, you know, to the day, um, based on quality mm -hmm. and service. And that has been our priority for all this time. Yeah. So I think it's working. Yeah, I think so, too. I think it's working. Well, I mean, and the funny thing is I come in here sometimes on Sundays, and you guys are just packed yes. to the brim. Yes. So is that something, I mean, there are times that there, it, it gets nuts in here, I bet. Yeah, um, there, sometimes there's not enough people, sometimes there's too many people. But um, Sundays are our busiest, mm -hmm. um, you know, that, and that is from 10 a.m. to closing. That and we're that busy. What, what, are your, what are your people coming in to buy on Sundays, or just in general? What are your mainstays? What do you want people to know about that you offer here that no one else in this area offers? I think in the past five years, our market has gotten a little bit more competitive because there are more shops popping up. But I do feel that one of the things that sets us apart is the fact that this is a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. You have your butcher, your butchers, and everything is cut fresh. Nothing is frozen, nothing is prepackaged. Everything is sold by the pound and how our customers want it. So if you come in here and you tell me, I want that two inches thick, we will go in the back and cut it two inches oh, thick. Wow. So that is one of the things that sets us apart. 
um, our marinades are made home at here. Um, you know, our chorizo, which is Mexican sausage, mm -hmm. longanista, a lot of people know it as, that's made here. Um, so meat-wise, it's very fresh, mm -hmm. very homemade, and it's very catered to that one person. I have a customer that comes from uh, Washington, D.C. once a month, and he'll email me with his order and says, I need this, this, and this, and that. <laughs> and we're talking about several hundred dollars worth of just meat. And I'm like, don't you have someone up there? He's like, no one does it like you. Wow. And this is an Italian, not even a Hispanic. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you've got that cross-cultural appeal. Yeah, I, I've noticed it's very, it's crossing over to a lot of European and a lot of African mm -hmm. uh, countries. So, so that's one of our biggest strong points is the meat department. Then we have the tortilla machines, mm -hmm. the tortilleria. It's a big machine that makes tortillas yeah. all day, fresh. And um, we also have the bakery. Mm -hmm. So if you come for one of those things, you're going to leave with those three things. Right. <laughs> so especially if the bread just came out, oh, that smell of fresh baked bread is going to, you're going to go. And actually, I heard you talking to somebody a little while ago about the cheese department that you guys have here, like that you have some cheeses that you can't find yeah. anywhere else in the area. Some of the cheeses I've noticed, especially with the, um, it's in Spanish. It's called doble crema, mm -hmm. but it's I've I once so double I, cream. Double cream. There, it's nothing sounds fat. bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very good. It's very bad for your waistline. But um, I I remember about ten years ago, I was trying to make this recipe from a cookbook, and I was looking for doble crema. Mm -hmm. No one had it. I tried Whole Foods. I tried um, Harris Cedar. I tried you know Foodline. No one carried it. And so when we finally got it in, I checked the invoice and I was like, oh, that's what my recipe called for. And so I went and tried it. It's super thick, super rich. Um, it's really creamy. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just, it's really good, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but like you said, double cream doesn't, doesn't sound bad at all. So what you're saying is if you want to keep your waistline intact, you should not come here <laughs> on an empty <laughs> stomach. <laughs> no. Um, you'll, I mean, I didn't like it at first, but... There's definitely things that you know are a lot more richer and mm -hmm. are not so common in American grocery stores, yeah. chain stores especially. So. And I, I've been noticing too that you guys are getting, like we talked about that cross-cultural appeal yeah. like to the African community, to the European community. And I see sp like students coming in from the universities around here. I mean, yeah. you've talked about not even having word of mouth, but just, <laughs> or to not relying just on word of mouth, but you're getting the word out because of your product, because of the service yeah, you give. We've been really lucky um, because we've had a lot of support from Duke, mm -hmm. um, in meaning the way that, you know, they come in, all, come in a lot for, like, field trips. So a lot of their Spanish students, Spanish language speaking students, oh, cool. um, come in and do, like, a field trip. And they walk around the store and look at all the um, ingredients and foods and what we offer, and they learn. Mm -hmm. And obviously that turns into word of mouth. Exactly. So um, we've been very fortunate to have that attention from them. Um, we all, we do get a lot of students. We have a lot of students. So. And we're um, all we're all students. Yeah. When it comes exactly. to, to food, learning food, more, cultural. there's never enough food that you can eat. <laughs> I, yeah, a lot of the people come in and you know they look and they they are amazed of how many op different options we have and alternatives. Yeah. Like if you go to let's just say you know a, a chain you know. Um, grocery store you know you have your ranch and it comes in like three brands but you know there's more to that there's you know different types of drinks there's mango and we have a lot more tropical fruits so they're like oh I didn't know that you guys had this when it's in mm. other stores it's something seasonal right and here it's year round it's everywhere yeah I love the tamarindo <laughs> yeah it does one that's yeah. my favorite um, I wanted to kind of touch back a little bit more you, you mentioned this is a family owned place yes and so what role does your family still have are you are you you're the manager you, you run <laughs> I the do, place I do what <laughs> you're I... the heart and soul behind this place <laughs> no 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 it's too much um, every all of the guys here are the heart and soul we wouldn't be here with all of the team Everyone brings something special. And my family did start the business, mm -hmm. and they had an idea, they had a vision, and they saw that we needed something mm -hmm. as a community. And they said, let's try and offer it. And it stuck. But the beating heart of this place is the team, because everyone has a different background. Mm -hmm. We have, we started with just Mexican, Mexican, um, you know, People, but, but 
it turned to we have South Alderanians now, we have people from Guatemala, we have uh, a few Hondurans. So we we've been really lucky to have it's 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 a lot of different cultures and countries in one place working together, and everyone brings something special. So um, they're the beating heart of this place. So it's it's kind of a, a little bit of a microcosm for the yeah. rest of the country, right? Yeah, and definitely. For the rest of Durham. So I've learned a lot about my neighboring country fellows. Um, so you know, from uh, Salvador, I've learned to love pupusas mm. when I didn't grow up on them. <laughs> so. All right. So one last question. Yes. If you came in here today for the first time. If I came in here today for the first time and you, I needed to get one thing, what would it be? Oh, that's a really good question. Off the top of your head. I would say bolillo. Bolillo? What's bolillo? It's our version of dinner roll. Dinner roll? Yeah. So the bread is that good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sells out around 5 o'clock. Awesome. Well, speaking of time, what are your hours so that so, we can tell the folks at home um, we when are to come here, in? We are here. We're open from seven days a week, Sunday through Saturday, or however your calendar starts, um, eight to nine. Eight to nine. Eight, eight a.m. to nine p.m. Eight. Yeah, and awesome. Sundays are really busy, so be wise in picking your time to come in. <laughs> well, I want to thank Jackie Flores, the manager of La Superior Carniceria, uh, for her time thank today, you. and um, great talking to you. Thank Likewise, you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, and thank you so much again for watching. Especially big thanks to Jackie Flores, General Manager of La Carniceria La Superior, located on South Roxboro Road, 3325 South Roxboro to be exact. If you guys want to check us out, make sure to tune in to uh, www.clariancontentmedia.com or check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Clarion Content.